Today guys, welcome back to Hell's Garage. Today we will be getting, trying to get that engine off the back of the car. I bought a stand yesterday, not a crane, so we'll have to try and sort of jimmy it onto the stand and then do something bodgy to get off the back. But it's been sitting on the back of my car in town while, while I'm at work all week because I can't get it off the back of the car. So today we are going to try and get off. Number one task, we have to go and get bolts Longer bolts because these are not long enough plus these are from the stand because I didn't have any had the same pitch thread But I found one so we have to go to a shop get some more bolts. Let's get to it First of all I have to wind the windows down because it's hot but I have to Got the bolts for the bell housing, so we'll head back and chuck them in. Here we are back at HQ. Why do I always sound like a twat when I'm talking to the camera? Here we are back at HQ. We'll um, rip into it. Yeah. We're gonna look a little something like that. So we'll get it all centered and all tightened up and that just goes into there. So I reckon All right, so now this just has to go and there We're looking Looking actually pretty good. Hopefully we can get off without killing myself I'm actually so happy right now. We have our first ever engine on the engine stand for Howler's Garage. So first, this is pretty awesome. I'm so keen for this. Spiders to come out of the sump. It doesn't sound like there's anything in there. So that could mean uh, many things. It's basically what I expected. So when you're blowing out gas, you have oil mixing with water. Either way, it can be oil going into the radiator, it can be water going into the oil. So, it doesn't really tell us anything. What we don't want to see is metal or any bearing material in there because it does. If it does, I mean, this engine might just be an ex, might just be a practice on tearing down the engine or not. Depending on whether what happens in here is will depend on if we use it or not. Oh, okay, my words out. Let's have a look what's underneath.
the um, the valves were open on that cylinder when I was hosing, or when it was sat, sitting in the rain. Stand back. I don't see where it's... No, it doesn't look blown at all. Brand new. <laughs> so a couple of things we've noticed. We've seen some pitting on the top of this piston. So either a rock or a bit of metal has been in there bouncing around and having a good time. And that was obviously where it was blown by. But we've, we've road rushed it off now, so yeah. big piston. <laughs> Massive. It's got a bit of rust on it, but oh, it's just like same condition, pretty much the same markings. Don't know if it's good or not, but they're going back in like it. Probably other way around. Because it's the budget AU build. This is, that, this is that piston that we saw them scoring on the top of it. That's the one with all the pitting on top of it. She's got some marks on the skirts compared to the other pistons we're taking out. No yeah, spun bearings though. That is. That's had a hard, harder time that one. Hey! Looks like looks like this engine's future is has one. Has one. <laughs> <laughs> judging, uh, I should say again, judging from no experience and no information, they look good. <laughs> Uh. But it just wipes off. Yeah. Pussy. Well, um, unexpected, honestly. I, I thought that it would be totally just knackered, but. From everything we've seen, the condition of the head, the condition of the bearings, uh, the wear on the pistons, the wear on the bores, I honestly just don't think it's had that much use. Maybe like 100,000 Ks, and I think it's been serviced pretty well. It's eaten something, so it's put some pitting on that piston, but honestly, like, I don't think that's gonna make a difference. If you haven't seen it, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on the YouTube channel, but they drove a car through drag week with a just totally destroyed piston, like that on the top. Um, yeah. So, we are going to be probably slapping some bearings in this. Bearings, ARP head studs, and MLS head gasket, like a metal head gasket. I'm gonna get this serviced, that serviced and decked. We will probably pull these dowels out and just deck this with a stone. Going pretty well, might turbo that. Might do something. Why would do anything? But yes. Thanks for watching this episode of How's Garage. Uh, um, if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. I really enjoyed tearing this engine down. It's probably like the second engine I've teared down. Like probably the first engine I've teared down by myself in its entirety. We're probably going to leave the crank in for now. Just to see what happens, basically. I need to get a harmonic balancer puller, pull this off, and have a look at the oil pump. Probably put some oil pump gears in as well if we're going to build it for boost. Sky's the limit with this sort of thing. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, give it a like. Thanks for watching. Catch us next episode.